What is up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 19th intermediate Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use a generic return type in a generic method. So, in the last method we created, we just used the void return type and printed something out. But this uh, tutorial, I'm going to teach you, like I said, how to return generic data. So let's go ahead and outside your main method, let's go ahead and just jump right into creating um, a generic method. So what this method is going to do first and uh, foremost is it's going to take three different items, which is pretty much like it's going to take four, eight, and ten, and it's going to return the maximum, which would be ten. Or it's going to take like three strings, like well, you know, any th like three names, and it's going to give you the maximum of that. So the one thing we have to take note of is we can't just use the greater than or less than sign to compare different items because we can use it for number data like 4 is greater than 2 but we can't use it for string data so what we need to do is find a method that we can use for both strings and numbers or any type of data and one uh, method that we can use for that is called compare to and you can plug numbers in this strings or anything so let's go ahead and make this uh, generic method first and foremost public static um, and as your well, let's go ahead and put t extends comparable and put t in here. And what I mean by this is only objects that inherit from the comparable class can be used in this method. So now, as your return type, instead of putting void uh, number string, let's go ahead and just put t. So whenever you put this before t, this means that you can only use objects that extend comparable and this means that you're going to be returning um, the type of T data or pretty much returning generic data so let's go ahead and name our method I'm just going to name my max because it's going to find the max of three things and put generic A generic type of data type of data B generic type of data C so now that we got the header we can go ahead and start creating the body so how do we want to actually program this? Well, we're going to pass it in three variables, A, B, and C, and it has to find the maximum of those variables. So we first need to start out and assume that, let's go ahead and assume that A is the greatest. So I'm going to have a variable, a generic variable called M, and this is going to stand for maximum. So we start out by assuming that A is the greatest, and we'll just check it later on. So let's go ahead and write our first if statement if b compare to it already knows compare to a is greater than zero what do we want to do well what this compare method compare to method does is it either returns a negative number a zero or positive if the if it's less it's going to return a negative number if both the things it's comparing are equal it's going to return a zero or if it actually is greater, it's going to return a positive number. So we're saying, all right, if that's, if this is actually greater than A, what do we want to do? Well, we want to set that equal to the new maximum. So then the maximum would be B. So we already have one test to see this pretty much compares B and A. And if B is greater than A, then the new maximum is B. So let's go ahead and we only need one more test to check for C. So let's go ahead and write another if statement if c dot compare to and we don't want to compare it to a and we don't want to compare it to b since we don't know what the maximum is. So if c compared to m, which is the current maximum at the time, and we could have even put m right here, but we don't really need to. If this is greater than that, then it's going to give you a number greater than zero. We want to set the new maximum equal to c. So now all these do is check one against the other and it finds the maximum. So from here we just have to return m which is the maximum. So this method gives you a return statement but the one thing we didn't do is have a way to print it out yet or pass any data into it. So in your main method go ahead and put system out print line and just go ahead and what do we want to print out? Well we want to print out this so we want to print out the max of just put like 23, 42, and 1. So now what this is going to do is print out the maximum of this. So if we go ahead and run this, we see we get 
42 right there. All right, so we know we can pass it integer data, but let's see how our method does against something like string data. So let's copy this and paste, and instead of three integers, let's go ahead and pass it apples, um, tots, stand for tater tots, and chicken. So now when you run this, as you can see, our method returns tots. So this is the power of a generic method with generic return data. Not only can it accept generic data, but it also can return generic data. And this not only works for integers and strings, it works for any type of data you can imagine, characters, floats, um, anything that can cross your mind. So I hope you guys uh, understood that tutorial. If you have any questions, you can just leave me a comment or send me a message, and I'll uh, try to respond to you. And also, when you're sending me messages, send me your code, too, because it ma makes it a lot easier for me. But for now, that's all the time I have for this tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.